So how does Google actually see and start to categorize your junk removal business website and start showing it on the search results? How does it do that? Let me show you exactly how Google's algorithm and its search engine actually works. What up there guys, Izzy here once again, Do It Yourself Junk Removal SEO, where I help junk removal business owners, dumpster rental companies, small business owners understand the internet, understand SEO, and show them how to design their own websites, do their own SEO, which will save them thousands of dollars in the long run in advertising costs by having their business found online for the services they're already providing. And today I wanna to show you guys how Google's search algorithm, how their whole search engine really, really works. I always talk about that 50% of all SEO is the actual built out of your website. What you're doing with your website is you're building it out in a way where you are telling Google, this is what I want to be found for. For example, this website right here, this young guy over here in Long Beach, California, is a Long Beach chunk removal service and he does some small demolition work. So with his website, what we've done is we've built it so we are telling, we are physically telling Google that we are a Long Beach junk removal service. So we want to tell the search engine that we want to be found for the words Long Beach junk removal. Anybody types that into Google. And how we do that is with the initial build out by doing all the H H1 title tags. You see in my other videos, I talk about it all the time, the H2 title tags, um, the content, all the stuff on the website. We tell Google, look, we want to be found for junk removal in Long Beach. Those four words or a combination of them Long Beach Junk Removal, Junk Removal Long Beach. So that's how we do it. But what does Google do? So Google eventually will pick up the website, they'll start reading it, and now it knows, okay, this website needs to be found for Junk Removal in Long Beach when everybody types that into Google search. But how does Google validate that? Okay, now Google knows that this website is for Junk Removal Services. Um, that's what we wanna be found for. Now what Google's gonna start to look for is proof of that. They want a, to confirm that they want to know that that's what the site is about. So how does it do that? It does this by looking for backlinks. Once it starts going throughout the internet, scouring the internet, looking for backlinks, it's looking for something called anchor text. Now an anchor text is, I'll show you real quick. Here's an article written for him on a travel website and they're talking about Long Beach right here. And you'll see the word Gorilla Junk Removal Service inside this article but you'll see this is called the anchor text. And the reason it's called it anchor text is because the text in the, this link is telling Google's search algorithm, its search engine, that this link is about Gorilla Junk Services, in this case is the business name. And what Google is going to start to look for is a bunch of different variety of links, anchor text, to dictate to its search engine what its that website is really all about. So it's gonna to start to look for junk removal service links. It's gonna start looking for the business names, junk removal links. It's gonna look for a click here, uh, the domain name. It's going to look for them all over to, to validate that this website is indeed about junk removal services in Long Beach, California. So as I've been working for his SEO, doing his stuff month in and month out now, we're slowly creating all those backlinks and different variations of those backlinks to tell the Google spiders, the crawlers, the SEO search engine that this is indeed what we want to be found for. So you see some of the anchor text right here is his domain name, his domain name, another link with his domain name, visit the website, go now, Gorilla Junk Service website here, Gorilla Junk Services, Long Beach Junk Removal, view website. With time, we're starting to build a bunch of links that Google cannot ignore starts to see, okay, now I see what this website, I know this website's built for this, but now it's validating with all the backlinks. I'm gonna show you guys one for a print out workout calendar. I built this website years ago uh, just to create um, a place where people could print out the calendars for working out, blank ones or specific workouts. And it's ranking number one on Google. When you type in printable workout calendar or print a workout calendar, all right, you click that on there, and there's number one. That's the website's number one. Now you can see there's not much content on there. It's just pretty bare bones. But what's working, this worked out naturally search engine wise because what ended up happening is that 
this page was shared so much all over the internet on blogs on uh, forums and all kinds of different places by on YouTube it was shared everywhere that Google just could not ignore it so you see the anchor text on this website it tells how many links are going to from all over the internet how many links are pointing back to this website and what are those links talking about workoutcalendar.com workoutcalendar.com print a workout calendar my workout schedule Pio workout calendar print a workout calendar so there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of links pointing back to this website saying things like all these terminology right here another workout schedule power 90 schedule focus t25 workout calendar print a workout calendar people shared this website all over the internet with this anchor text just like this one here this anchor text all over the internet that eventually Google just could not ignore it even though I didn't really do much SEO on this thing other than just to build it it was such a simple website such a needed website that people couldn't help but share the website and that's why there's so many links pointing back to it that it's basically ranking number one for print a workout calendar on Google this is a national scale type website ranking number one so this is what we this is what I do and this is what I teach with my do-it-yourself junk removal SEO course is to mimic this this whole scenario so you're building the website you're building your website to be found for junk removal services in a particular area and then what you're doing is creating all the backlinks to validate what you built and a good eventually with time Google just cannot ignore it it sees it so much it sees so many links pointing to this website that it knows okay this is what we need to be found for. this website needs to be ranking for those specific words because all the proof all the backlinks proof so on top of the website the way it's designed so that's just what I wanted to share with you guys today quick little video to show you kind of like how Google really works that's what I got if you guys want to learn more about this stuff some of the stuff I do I have a free uh, crash course underneath this video just information on what I do and if you want to you know take the course and really learn how to do this on your own and save thousands of dollars in the long run because this is, SEO can be expensive you know getting these links from these good websites can be costly and a lot of work into it so I'll show you guys how to do that step by step and save you guys hundreds of dollars and maybe even thousands of dollars in the long run all right guys till next time